Hello, in this tutorial we are going to look at how to price or how to graph a firm's monthly share price over time. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to need to identify a firm that meets certain criteria and we're going to need to download the data from Yahoo Finance. So let's get started. So we're going to start, I'm going to look at Ford Motor Company. Uh, the ticker symbol is F and it trades on the New York, New York Stock Exchange. Uh, right now, Ford shares are trading for $13.39 per share. Um, first, we've got to see if it meets our criteria uh, that we need for this assignment. It needs to have long-term debt, uh, and we need to show interest payments on the income statement, uh, no preferred stock, and we need to pay dividends. So to see that, we can look at our financial statements, uh, namely our income statement. So by looking at our income statement, we can see that they have an interest expense of $713,000 this year and it seems to be falling over the last three years. So that tells me that there is debt and that they're paying interest. And I can scroll down and see preferred stock and other adjustments, nothing. So that tells me that's a good sign. We probably don't have preferred stock. Preferred stock is sort of a hybrid security between a bond and a stock and we're going to ignore it for the purposes of this class. On the balance sheet, I can look and see, all right, we have long-term debt, yes. Shock, stockholders, equity, preferred stock, none. Okay, we're good. So the last thing I need to do is see if we pay dividends, if this firm pays dividends, if Ford pays dividends. In order to do that, I look at historical prices. And under historical prices, if I just say that I want dividends only, I can see, oh yes, there are lots of dividends, okay. Great. They seem to be irregular, 2013, 12, then nothing between 2012 and 2006. That's not important. So now what we're going to do is look for 10 years of monthly share prices for this firm. So I want monthly share prices and I want 10 years. So to do 10 years, I'm going to say I want March 1st, 2003 to March 1st, or March 13th is fine, but I'm going to say to March 1st, 2013. And I'm going to tell it that I want to get the prices. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And on my computer, if I click download to spreadsheet, it doesn't work. Maybe yours is the same way. It says download error. So it may work for you like that, no biggie, but if you have this problem, Here's what you need to do. You need to right click on the download to spreadsheet, click save link as, and then you've got to give it a title. When you give it a title, make sure to keep the .csv extension, otherwise there'll be no data in the file. Or it will be in a file, but it won't be in a table um, or in an Excel-like format. So I'm going to call this Ford 10 years monthly, and then I am going to open it. Oh, I was right the first time. Okay. So I want this data. I happen to not want it in this particular file. So I'm going to copy it. Command C. I'm just going to close this file. It wants to know if I want to keep the data on my clipboard, all the stuff that I've copied and I do. I want to put it in this file because this file is a macro enabled file where I can use get formula if I need to. And so I'm just going to right click and paste all the data in. Sure, I'll paste it anyway. Okay, great. It looks like my dates transferred just right. Um, 2003 on the bottom, 2013 on the top. The first thing I want to do is insert a row here on top, right click and then I. And I want to give myself a title so that I know what I've done. Otherwise you might end up with a bunch of these floating around in your computer and you're like, what is this? So this is Ford Motor Company share prices from March 1st, 2003 to March 1st, 2013. So now we have that. There's my title. I'm going to bold it and make the font a little bit bigger. These cells are merged. 
It's great. All right. As you know that we don't as you know we don't need all this information. The adjusted closing price takes into account dividends paid and share repurchases. So I'm going to get rid of all of those middle cells. I'm going to have to remerge these. Okay. So I've got my date and my adjusted closing price. And the first thing that I need to do is change the sort of these so that my 2003 date is on top and my 2013 date is on the bottom. That way my chart will turn out right where 2003 is on the left and 2013 is on the right. So if I highlight all of this, all of my dates, and I click sort, we're not exactly sure how it's going to sort them. It may sort them with by date or it may sort them by adjusted closing price. And it sorted them by date. That's awesome. If it sorts them by adjusting closing price or something funny, you need to use the custom sort function. I don't have anything highlighted, but if you can use custom sort in order to get that. Um, to get Excel to sort it how you want it to be sorted. So now that I have all the data in the right order, I highlight what I want. And I tell it that I want a chart. I'm going to take a line chart. There we go. So here's what it looks like. It needs a tad bit of formatting. Make sure when you do this that you bring your chart up to the top. Otherwise your chart will end up at the very, very bottom. Hmm. Is there a fast way to do this? I'm really not sure. Let's just bring it up. If you know a fast way to do this, you can send me an email. And I'll use it in my future tutorials. Okay. Here's our chart. Let's do some formatting. So the first thing I want to do, these dates look okay, they're legible. If your dates come out funny, you can change the way they are by formatting this axis. And those dates are in what's called a text box. And so sometimes it's easier to read if you rotate it to 90 degrees clockwise. Then they're lined up straight up and down vertically so that you can fit more in there. The second thing is that we'd like these to be dollars. So I'm going to right click on that axis, format it, choose my number, and I'm going to unlink it from the source and call it currency. I still don't need any decimal places. I really just wanted that dollar sign. There we go. So now we'll format it. We'll give ourselves a title and we'll label one of those axes. Ford stock price. 3103 to 3113. I don't need this series. I'm going to call this stock price and I'm going to call it good. And that's how you graph monthly share prices for a firm over a period of 10 years using data from Yahoo Finance. And what you'll see is that we start at a share price of $8.93 will end up with a share price of $12.86, but we don't get there in a straight line. It's not easy to predict these stock returns. There's years when we gain a lot, years when we lose a lot. Over time we've gained, but there's a very noisy pattern between 2003 and 2013, uh, meaning that stocks don't have a predictable return, therefore we'll call them risky.